Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We all know there's one SBC right now in FIFA 23 that is making the footies menu grind so much fun. The unlimited fodder glitch, it seems. The 84 times 10. But the problem is... It might be going away today. Yes, we have to talk about this SBC going away and a couple of others going away. Will EA ruin all the fun we've been having by taking these SBCs away? Or will they actually make it better by re-releasing them or maybe even making them cheaper? We're going to discuss all of that today because today's a big day of content. Also, I'm going to tell you guys about a couple places where you need to check your club right now because there might be a gold mine of coins with some consumables that are selling for inflated prices. So we're going to talk about all of that and more in today's video if you're excited for it drop a thumbs up subscribe if you are new now i had to say really quickly guys i'm still reeling at the shock of the craziness of a pack that i had yesterday on this game it is definitely the best pack i have ever had and i'll give you a little bit of a hint of what it looked like right here we're gonna have a full video out on the second youtube channel today you guys need to get subbed up there i'll put the link right up here it's one of the craziest packs i've ever seen in any fifa ever okay yes there is more than just ginola in this pack guys it is crazy so make sure you get subbed up there that video is going to be dropping later today i'm still in shock at the players that were in one singular pack uh, and don't want to ruin it for you guys if you haven't seen the video or you haven't seen the clip or you didn't see it live on stream you got to see it for how it was it was absolutely mental man it was so crazy so let's get into the video now yesterday's content was kind of what we expected right we of course had the alessandro del piero sbc which it meant it is a really really nice card and of course so craftable i can't imagine that an sbc for a card of this caliber in any other time of the game especially for this price would get such a good upvote and downvote percentage i feel like del piero's card is nice um, of course, 99 dribbling is really good, 96 pace is really good, 98 shooting is really good as well, but I think that some of the other ones we've had are a little bit better, and this one, I think the price is what sets me back from it a little bit, but of course, like we've been saying, it's just so craftable at this time, it's so easy to do, and I think that's why it's got a decent amount of upvotes and a decent amount of people are considering doing this card. 5-star, five 5-star, five high, medium, maxed out uh, attack positioning, finishing, almost maxed out dribbling as well. He's going to be insane. But for a million coins, it kind of seems a bit expensive, but of course, craftable at the same time. Make sure you do the loan squad. EA were a little bit uh, mean here. An 82-rated squad for the loan when some of the other ones were like silvers. That was a little bit mean from EA, but still got to get it done for the XP. And still, a nice card, just a bit expensive in my opinion for what it could have been now also yesterday we had an 84 times 30 upgrade which to me i'm gonna say this right off the bat guys i think i would rather just do 384 times 10s because that is exactly what this pack is you could say nate but the pack is different it is and i would not disagree with you there but for the price of 321,000 coins to get all five sections done of this 84 times 30 when it comes down to it the difference between this and 384 times 10s is you're paying more for the 8430 for 30 players in the pack instead of 10 and you're playing you're paying for the tradable packs that you get in return now obviously you could use the 84 times 10 to complete the 84 times 30 and get these tradable packs back because every time you pack a tots card that's 11,000 coins you can quick sell and get a lot of coins a lot of people right now are just making coins from opening any tradable pack they can possibly get and quick selling the tots cards that they inevitably are going to be packing from that and making coins in that way that is not a bad method so if you need coins and you're wanting to grind the menus a lot with the 8410 you could do the 8430 to get tradable packs back and you get an 8430 at the very end of it as well it's repeatable every two days you can't do it every single day but it's once every two days so that's kind of the situation there with that and then of course i forgot to mention it in yesterday's video but the 93 plus actually refreshed yesterday and guys i wish this refreshed every single day i would do this like three four five times a day if i could especially with the 84 10 grind that is there and right now um wow this player pick i mean we packed yaya toure from one of these yesterday i got like nothing from it but like this is the one that has the potential of packing mbappe messi neymar ronaldo those footies players inside of it so i wish this refreshed every day but at least it was there again yesterday that we could do one more time now let's talk about the big news that is at hand today guys let's talk about the 84 times 10 because it is no secret 
this SBC is going away today. The expiry date, the timer, 13 hours from right now. That's 6 p.m. today, content time on Monday. And it's not just the 84 times 10 guys. It's also the 81 plus player pick that a lot of people have been putting some of their golds into. And of course, the beloved 85 times 10, which we can only do five times a day, but that SBC is expiring today as well. Now, what's going to happen? We love this grind. Packing tots is maybe getting a little bit annoying, right? But still, the grind right now with the packs and doing those SBCs over and over and over and keeping the extra fodder to put into Zidane, Del Piero, Govu, all the great SBCs, it's amazing. I'm not complaining about this grind. I think it's amazing. I just don't want it to stop. I want to be able to have this end game sort of just crazy, like unlimited fodder glitch continue to keep going. Now, the question is, is EA going to allow that to happen in the last weeks of this game before it is the last FIFA to ever be done? Or are they going to be, you know, a problem and make us work and not enjoy the last part of this game and make it more annoying because they said, oh, this 84 times 10 is too good. I'm really not sure today, guys, because the 84 times 10 has actually been refreshed since um, the last time that it was out. It was out. It came back again with the exact same requirements, and I'm hoping they just refresh the same SBC once again and keep it here. But in the case that they don't, what other things could they do? Well, the 85 times 10 is always the SBC that we look forward to, right? We don't. We didn't think about an 84 times 10 really heading into footies this year, being like, "Oh my goodness, that's going to be the insane SBC." We always remember the 85 times 10 that is unlimited repeatable. Now we've been able to do this five times a day, and last week EA finally made it one squad. Could they today? I could see this today being two ways. One way is. EA refreshes the 84 times 10. We're all happy. And they also refresh the 85 times 10 and maybe make that available like a couple more times per day with the same requirements. The other way I could see them going with this today, guys, is not re releasing the 84 times 10 and only releasing the 85 times 10 10 times per day, right? We're able right now to do it five times a day. I could see them, you know honestly making us very mad and upset today and doing that but i hope it's the earlier one of those two options option number one like we mentioned because guys that 84 times 10 is just so crucial to the game right now with all that is in packs it's going to be so annoying to craft other SBCs if we don't have that 85 times 10 there that would that would kill the game honestly is what it would do it would kill a lot of the hype because right now that's just kind of the unlimited fodder glitch. So I really hope that EA refreshed it today, guys. I'm not that worried, but you never know. It's EA. Like, they could do whatever they want. So we'll just have to see. Now, other content that they could also bring out today, too. The 81 plus player pick, like we said, is expiring. And I don't think I've done any of these in the past week because the crafting upgrade is so clear. This is not expiring. It's out for another 10 days, 11 days. It's out for a long time. That's great, right? Could we get another crafting objective like we had the Nani? Maybe we'll get another crafting obje uh, objective today that would tie into this SBC as well. Great. Just give us more fodder and another footies card. Why not EA? That'd be a great part of content to add in today as well. I would imagine an 81 plus player pick of some sorts comes back. I would just love it to be a bit cheaper. Just require gold cards and not five rares. That was the annoying part about that SBC last week. If they were to do that, that would make that one a bit better. And then can we get a player SBC once again? Because a lot of us that are grinding the menus, we've done Govu. We've done every player SBC in here now, even the icons. And uh, it's actually kind of slowing down a little bit on the player SBC front. I feel like we have more players expiring, you know, two days left on Gomez, three on Timber, four on Rodrigo has been out for forever. Yes, we've gotten more icons, but a couple more footies players, EA. Now, I want to talk about some leaks really quick, too, because I don't exactly know if these are players that are coming as SBCs, but these cards have been leaked. Footies Lacroix is coming soon. Guys, to me, the way that these are being leaked, it almost makes me think that this is a card that's going to be in packs. Right now, of course, we're in footies team number five with the Benzema and the Ginola and stuff in packs. Team number five of footies. Could this actually be part of team number six that will be dropping on Friday? Now, the way that Foot Sheriff is posting and leaking this, he's not saying SBC. He's not saying objective or anything like that. And it's very similar to the way that he leaked other cards like Rashford and Ginola in the last week. He did not say anything about an SBC. So... I hope that these cards are SBCs because I think I want something better than this, man. Frimpong and Lacroix, yes, they're great. But these cards with these stats, Frimpong's already got a 99 pace team of the season card, right? That we've all used and now it's like cheapest chips on the market because it's one of those Tots cards that we're like tired of packing. I would like something different here, man. I mean, these can be the cheapest cards in packs, sure. 
but I was hoping for something a little bit better, I think. And hopefully there are some more big names to come, but those maybe are also SBCs, but my hunch right off of those leaks is that they will end up being in packs. We will just have to see. So maybe those could be one of the player SBCs dropped today if that's in fact what they are, or maybe not, right? Now, also today's an interesting day for the daily login. We're gonna get a reward today. It is day four of that, so make sure you've been keeping up. We have to do it every single day, guys. We're all getting an 84 times three today. So, boom, a couple more 84s you can add into your craft of the 84 times 10, hopefully, when that refreshes. Now, let's talk about the market a little bit and talk about coins, all right? Of course, big content and SBCs and stuff like that. I mean, unless we get a player objective today for a crafting ob objective, might be pretty quiet in there. The XP was, of course, yesterday or two days ago that we got that. Now, let's talk about the market a little bit because I just sold a bunch of stuff from my club, guys. Chemistry styles and specifically position modifiers are selling for a lot of coins right now. Um, and I think it's just because a lot of people are playing this game right now, guys, because the 84 times 10, the footies grind, prices in this game are in the mud so bad. It's just, it's actually a very fun time to be on the menus on this game. And with that being the case, position modifiers are selling for four to 5,000 coins right now on the market. If you have a bunch of these in your club, this is a great opportunity to take a payday. Uh, these are even 5K almost extinct over the weekend. I would get into your club and sell some of these cards. If you need some of them, keep a few of them around. But guys, you can do the position modifier SBC every single day and get a position modifier card for basically free um, for one bronze card or a three bronze cards, whatever it is. The position modifier upgrade has been here for so long. It seems like people forget about it, right? That you can literally just go and get a position modifier for free for putting in one bronze card. Um, so make sure, A, if you need position changes, uh, go ahead and do that. And um, B, sell the ones that are in your club because it is absolutely easy coins right now. Now, the ones that you get from the SBC are obviously not tradable. That'd be a nice, you know, like 25K per day if you could just pack five of them and then list them all for, you know, four to 5,000 coins. That would be amazing. But fortunately, the ones that you get from those are untradeable. So sell the tradable ones if you got them. And if you pack any of those from a tradable pack, make sure you list those up as well. Now, since people are doing a lot of Icon SBCs, what are, what are a part of all Icon SBCs? Bronze and Silver Squads. Bronze Rares and Silver Rares, I do believe. Bronze Rares are 500 coins insta-selling right now. This is number one, if you need to grind the market a bit and you're on a low uh, budget, a great place to trade. And number two, check your club for Silver Bronzes and Silver Rares that are inflated in price. Now, of course, you don't need uh, to go and buy these off the market to get them to do the bronze and the silver squads of the Icon SBCs. Because if you guys remember, we still have that daily bronze and silver upgrade, which you can do for basically free. And you can get yourself bronze and silver cards to do the, uh, those sections of Icon SBCs a lot easier. So don't spend coins off the market for those, but sell the ones that you maybe have in your club. And then uh, you saw me have a few anchors here on my transfer list. Zidane, right? One of the most popular chemistry styles to put on Zidane is an anchor. So those prices are up on the market. Just a couple of places on the market where position, uh, not position modifiers, but chemistry styles are actually selling for inflated prices for over what they normally do. Um, I just kind of quick sold these at 2000 coins. I could have listed them maybe for a little bit more. Lazy sales on this stuff is really, really good too. But make sure you check your club guys because there are a lot of coins to be made there, especially if you just have stuff sitting around in your club. Now, Speaking about the market a bit more, if you're like, Nate, I need a few coins here or there. I need to buy some lower rated cards to complete the 84 times 10 grind and I'm grinding and I just can't get enough coins to buy some of those cards because I need to buy a little bit of fodder. Here's what I would tell you to trade with right now on this game. I would trade with 95 rated team of the season and some of the icon cards that are some of the cheapest by their rating. You just have to make sure you look at their uh, prices in terms of their minimum prices, like right now, Petit is at his minimum price at 23,250. So you have to be careful. He can't go any lower than 23K. And sometimes that means a player might be stuck at their minimum selling price. But as you see in the past couple of days, Petit has gone from 30K Saturday morning to 43,000 coins back down to 28K. Yesterday on Sunday, he started at 25K late night, went all the way to 30,000 coins. Where is he right now? His minimum price at 23. I mean, this is a center back that is French that a lot of people would want to use in their team right now if they're on a low budget. That's a card that I would look at to maybe trade with a little bit right now. And what I would also do is look through some of these 94 and 95 rated cards that are in packs 
but also are very in demand. Look at Marquinhos from 29K all the way to 35,000 coins. That's a really good fluctuation on a card like this. PSG links, Brazilian. That's a card that moves. I think Alexis Sanchez as well. Again, here, notice his price range minimum is 16K. He can go all the way down to 16,000 coins. What was he earlier? He was 19K just a couple hours ago, and now he's back up to 25. So these cards fluctuate. I would say trade with those right now in this game. And then also, I would, I'll be looking at some of these cards like this Schweinsteiger is one that interested me. He's 292,000 coins. Some of these cards today on the market, yes, they could go down a bit further, but also like Schweinsteiger goes from 290 to 360 almost every single day looking at his flipping graph just because he's a rare card i don't know if i've seen schweinsteiger packed like once or twice he's rarely been packed from the 84 uh times 10 grind so this is a card that i would keep an eye on and like okay if i see one at 290 i know that i can probably sell that at like 330 or 340 at the very least here in the next couple of hours today on monday so that's a card that i would be kind of interested in to maybe trade with right watch flipping graphs if you need to make coins right now i would just go on the popular page on flipping if you don't know how to get there players drop down popular page just scroll through a bunch of these cards that are in your price range and uh these are the ones that people are the most interested in socrates thirty-six thousand coins right now what was he yesterday ah uh, see this is where i have to be careful you always gotta check the graphs guys minimum price 36 to 50 he does not sell on the market basically at all. So that's what I'll be looking through right now. Just check the minimum prices. Like, boom, look at that. Layout got undercut by like 30,000 coins from 200 to 175K. Wow, that's a crazy low price for Rafael Layout. If I cared to make coins, I'll be going to the market to look at that card. Now, that's enough talk about the market in basically September of the end of this game. Uh, but I just wanted to put that out there because I think that is a very very especially the stuff with your club make sure you check your club right now guys get inside of there sell some of the stuff that sells because coins are still i mean coins are still needed at all points in this game and like i mentioned as well if you're doing sbcs that give tradable packs back right now is a very good time to do those i think that's why you see some of the bronzes and silver prices on the market going up because in every icon sbc there's bronze and silver requirements and that gives back a two rare gold players pack which you could very easily pack a team of the season or maybe even an icon from for the best of re-release and all of a sudden boom that two gold players pack that's tradable just turned in from um you know a couple bronze and silver players to 20 30 000 coins if you get two special cards in one pack so that's why we're kind of putting an emphasis on that right there now again today the 84 times 10 grand continues and hopefully that means more crafting for me on zidane i just built up a bunch of the crafting upgrades i opened up a 400k pack uh, that was the pack i got the insane stuff out of that'll be featured in today's second channel upload again make sure you guys get subbed up there i'll drop the link again above here um but i built up a bunch of these from doing that pack and this these are going to be amazing what regardless of whatever upgrade packs come out today like the 81 plus i'm going to continue to hit those craft my club into those and get the lower rated fodder and have a chance at the tops card still as well i gotta get zidane done and i gotta try out some brand new cards that i packed yesterday in this game speaking one last thing of the 84 times 10 grind we talk a lot about tracking your packs right if you have any interest in figuring out how many upgrade packs you've opened you can go into the web app click uh inspect and then you can like do this uh sort of thing that'll tell you how many times you've uh, done the 84 times 10 upgrade pack we do this a lot during team of the year when we're trying to figure out how many of the league upgrade packs we have done i'll drop a link to this tweet by waldy down below in the uh, description as well if you guys want to check out how to check and see if you've been grinding all weekend how to check and see how many 84 times tens you have done um and then yeah hopefully once again ea they got to bring back this SBC today guys i mean there's going to be riots that will break out um and people are going to be very disappointed in ea sports if they don't bring this back um or unless they make the 85 times 10 unlimited repeatable we'll have to see so i'm expected to come back today guys and the 85 times 10 as well it's the end game i think ea realizes that okay we're just gonna let them have fun and i like that so hopefully they do continue to do that today but if you did enjoy today's video drop a thumbs up on it comment down below if you have any questions and of course as always subscribe if you're new it's been nate the foot account see you guys on stream today peace out